Hi, this is my self-reflection video essay for behavior and motivation in games. I'll be talking about why Dead Space 2 is my favorite game. I'll start with the genre and the overall type of game Dead Space is. It's a horror shooter zombie space game. The main thing I love about the game is the zombies, or necromorphs, uh, and space. But I love killing zombies. There's a certain satisfaction when you survive the horde. And it really leans into the catharsis theory that playing violent video games allows one to vent their aggressive impulses, which in turn uh, reduces their aggression. And killing enemies like zombies, where they've only really got one weakness, is satisfying. But killing necromorphs is even more satisfying because the only way to kill them is to chop off all their limbs. Which is, it's a good and interesting challenge. Now let's talk about the story. I love stories, and especially when it's a survival story or a good versus evil story. Death Space 2 has the you need to survive through an evil horde of alien zombies that were created through this strange world-eating alien race. Uh, and it also has a two-leveled love story. On the first level, you have your character's previous girlfriend who died in the first game, and she's haunting you in the second game. And your character, Isaac Clarke, needs to get over uh, the fact that she is gone. On the second level, Isaac meets Ellie in Dead Space 2, and in the end, it, it drives him to fight um, for her, to, to live for her and escape together. And trust me, it's a lot easier to fight for Ellie when your ex looks like this. After reading through Christine Diavolt's essay on PNPCs uh, in games, I really see how Dead Space wouldn't be the same if it didn't have Ellie in it. And it'd basically be your nightmare fuel of an ex stalking you throughout a game and Isaac would never get over her, and, I, well, yeah, I, there wouldn't be a proper ending. I mean, he could fall in love with Necromorph, but, yeah, no, that wouldn't be happening anytime soon. Now, let's talk about the horror part of the game. The thing that makes this game a great horror game is the general enemies and the random events that occur. Throughout the game, you're faced with monsters trying to kill you, which affects the afraid of dying uh, aspect of fear. Uh, and like Petri Petri tell us in their paper, Possibilities of Encounter, horror games trigger our fight or flight response and they lead us to try overcome our fears. This is one of the reasons why I started playing horror games. The game doesn't just have monster scares in it, it also has environmental scares, which really do scare the crap out of you, and the only purpose for them is to startle you, which keeps you on edge throughout the whole game. The last thing to talk about is the HUD. Well, it, it's awesome, just look at it. Everything's actually in the game. You don't just hit a button uh, and a huge screen pops up, pausing the game, ruining the game immersion. Everything is shown in real time. You have the health and stasis bar on the back of your character, amount of bullets pops up on the, uh, above the gun, and the inventory is like a projection from the character's helmet. And after reading through a paper by Neva and Romano about immersion of video games, you really see uh, that immersion is better for player satisfaction. So that was my self-reflection video essay uh, on why Dead Space 2 is my favorite game and the psychology behind it. Thanks for watching.